Hello, hello, Pizza Packs here, and we've got a fun one from the vault, um, or from the archives, rather. This is Magic the Gathering from the Vault Annihilation. Now, this was one of the later from the vaults, and contains a full set of special foiled, um, basically, sweepers from over the years. As you can see... Pretty cool little set. So let's get into this. Now I did buy this when it was released. Um, I don't remember how long ago it was. Let's see, the date on this is 2014. So almost 10 years ago now. And uh, I can see some of these are starting to curl in the, in the packaging, which yeah, even 10 years ago, we, we couldn't quite avoid curling. Let's see, there's a poster, I think, of some kind. We'll look at the poster after we look at the actual cards in here. And apparently there's a D20. I never noticed that there's a D20 in here. Let's see. Oh, that's really cool. Neat little, oh, I guess it's supposed to be a little Starburst thing like this so from the vault. D20. Really cool, like, tangerine color. All right. We'll open the Wrath of God pack first. Now, this was around Theros when this came out. So you can see Heliod. This is variant of that. Now the set ID on this is V14. This was right around when they started doing I think this is right around when they started doing the set IDs on the bottom corner. Let's see. As you can see it's this neat vertical line foiling that predates the search foiling. We've got Wrath of God. We have why I originally bought this, which was for a special version of Child of Alora. And then I just never ended up putting it in the deck that I had at the time. We have Decree of Annihilation. Really cool. Fire Spout, which used to be a Premier sideboard card for red and green. Fracturing Gust, which is still one of the best artifact and enchantment, enchantment removal cards ever printed. Now these do have a slightly different feel than most normal foils. They're much like glossier than normal. All right, let's look at the second one. This was also, at the time, one of the few ways to get a hold of Rolling Earthquake, which was originally printed in Portal Three Kingdoms, if I remember correctly. And for quite a while, this was the only way to get a hold of them. Um, I'm not sure if that has changed or not. Oop, nice Rolling Earthquake. Smokestack. One of my favorite artifacts of all time. I'm a big, I used to be a really big Ubastax player at Vintage. Um, this was one of the few ways to get a foil smokestack. In fact, it might have been at the time the only way to get one. I have Terminus. This was its first reprint. And then Upheaval. Fantastic card. Many fond memories of casting Upheaval. And Virtue's Ruin. Which also used to be a really high-end uh, 
the sideboard card for black against earlier versions of Death and Taxes and Maverick. We have our last pack. Come on. All right. We have Living Death. Martial Coup. Oddly enough, these. For some reason, this pack is curling side to side instead of top to bottom, which is a little strange. We have Armageddon. Now, I believe this was the first way to get foil Armageddons. There's not a whole lot of ways to do it. We have another card from Portal Three Kingdoms, Burning of Shenye which is a functional reprint of Wildfire. Wildfire Fire was in Portal and Portal 2, and then Burning of, of Shinye was in um, uh, Portal 3 Kingdoms. And we have the fantastic Urza Saga card, Cataclysm. Pretty sure this was Urza Saga. Very nice. All right. As you can see, these are very warped and in different ways. As is an issue with many kinds of foils. But, all right. We'll lay them out. Just to get a good look of them. All together. And to my understanding, many of these cards are some of the <laughs> most disliked cards that get played in Commander. But these are all cards that I absolutely adore playing, oddly enough. Oh, I don't think there's a single one of these that I don't that I haven't enjoyed running at some point or another, but I am generally a control player. There is that. And now that we have reviewed those, look at this awesome poster thing. Pull back some. So we can try to get the whole thing in frame. Oh, we have stories behind each of these cards. That's cool. And the back side is a large version of the Wrath of God art for this as a poster. Nice. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure back in time with uh, From the Vault Annihilation. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what's your favorite. Um, what's your favorite? Just sweeper. Um, I tend to go with the classic Wrath of God, um, or Fire Spout is a good one. Um, and Firestorm is another one that I really enjoy out of Weatherlight. There's a few others out there. But I, I'm a big fan of sweepers, and it, I feel like the standard is generally better when you have good sweepers. So leave a comment down below what your favorite one is, or your least favorite. If you're uh, an aggro player or someone who likes playing big old creatures, what do you... Uh, would you not like to see played against you? But until next time, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next one.
Thanks. Bye.